Once again, you are back on Ekman Soj Ki Chee Talk, Train of Thought with a series of an episode with Mr. Vinod Subramaniam, who is the Executive Managing Partner with Aditya Villa Capital. Sir, welcome yes. back to Thank you once again. this Thank, episode. So uh, in fact, it's an mm-hmm. interesting journey when we talk in terms of an uh, uh, insurance, insurance. It's a still untapped market, there's a huge potential. But many a times we have seen like uh, the students or the uh, practitioners who are, they would like to go an easy way. Uh, they feel like getting into the insurance and selling the insurance is that tough like. Uh, now tell me like uh, after your basic studies, were you sure that what you wanted to do in life? No. <laughs> <laughs> so what was going on? It's typically a student thing. I mean, you are managing so many students, you know, we've been through the journey in the past. I've been a lecturer also in many places. Mm. Uh, as a student, it is very normal to be confused. So mm. was I. And at that point of time, typically since I had done a co- with from a commerce background and completed my MCOM mm. with honors in economics, which I don't know why. Mm. Okay, and then doing my MBA in marketing. That time, getting an MBA opportunity also very difficult. Right. So and then wanted to do finance because that was my first love. Then I did a few courses in finance simultaneously. Mm. Mm. So technically speaking, I didn't know where I was going. Mm. But there were two indicators. Every student or every person who's in that. brink of the career mm-hmm. are confused but mm-hmm. there is something there is something called the inner calling that comes correct so there is a love towards a certain sector or mm-hmm. love towards a certain uh, activity mm-hmm. or love towards a certain uh, background mm-hmm. which or something which you have been in the past or seen something in the past mm-hmm. so that somewhere propagates you to touch that mm-hmm. so if somebody wants to get into the fmcg line they say ki wow i have been watching the nirma ad for so long i want to sell it Hmm. He might try very hard to join that company. Right. Or if there is somebody who says, "Oh, I have been seeing the ad of Bank of Baroda or HDFC for so long. Hmm. I want to get into this as a brand." Hmm. So, brand could be a reason for hmm. you to take a choice. Sector could be secondary. Okay. Sometimes sector is priority, and then brand could be secondary. Okay. And third is that ultimately, what you want to do. Hmm. Unfortunately, in India, our education system is such that mostly it has been controlled by our family. So they yeah. all want you to do this. They want you to do this, and then yeah. they want you to decide and come back to them. Yeah. Very few people pursue their passion or pursue their dreams. <clears throat> yeah. In my case, it was a very uh, simple call: either join my dad's business or do something on your own. Yeah. So my mindset was very clear: I want to do something in the space of finance. What yeah. could I get closest in the space yeah. of finance was bank, yeah. and uh, I had not even started to apply. <clears throat> but i said let me check what banks i want to go to my, bank, my father has been a banker mm-hmm. family has got multiple bankers i said thoda boring mm-hmm. although the commercial banking system started becoming very interesting a little later but at that point of time it was very similar to mm-hmm. what a psu bank would do mm-hmm. and uh, then i thought what other industries are growing mm-hmm. i was not an engineer so automobile sort of a question mm-hmm. i didn't want to go into fmcg because first four years before i did my mba i was working with an fmcg company mm-hmm. i didn't enjoyed that much but yes mm-hmm. there was good money there so it was okay mm-hmm. so i thought this is a new uh, sector which is going to you know, maybe go forward mm-hmm. and look at it and as i told you in the earlier episode that a research went into it mm-hmm. so i really didn't know what i want to do on mm-hmm. a very serious note, but right. I, i said let me take a chance with this okay normally your first jobs or initial jobs are all chances and you want to explore and then okay. on the job you start learning that's okay. normal And I think for the benefit of a target audience, and one first you can plunge into an insurance like you know uh, by being part of an villa, uh, the villa capital like. So first day on the job, what was there in your mind like? Okay, so see, as I told you, I was always having a rebel streak in my mind. Somewhere being a rebel also created a lot of confidence in me. देखा जाएगा क्या होता है वाला attitude was always there. Not a great audit to have, but uh, it's not something I want to tell the students to have. But then it's good if you if you manage that energy positively, mm-hmm. it works for you. Right. So the first day after I, the interview was very interesting. We had group discussions and we had a psychometric test to be done, and the, there were three layers of uh, you know interviews that happened at the lowest level mm-hmm. because. Aditya Birla or any other company, for that matter, wanted to start off the business, and they wanted really strong people mm-hmm. as a part of the lowest part, grassroots level, grassroots level, to be good people. Mm-hmm. So I was lucky 
टच वुड दे फाउंड माई माई पोटेंशियल गुड दे सेट की आई माइट फिट द बिल बिकॉज ऑफ माई एटीट्यूड एंड द वे आई परफॉर्म इन इंटरव्यू एंड दे आस्क मी टू स्टार्ट अ ब्रांच लेवल बिजनेस सेल्स so uh, on the first day i was obviously looking at a few more people hardly there were seven eight people who had joined just around a couple of few months before me so advantage for me was everybody were new mm-hmm. right it's not that i am going to learn too much from anybody mm-hmm. so there were two things which were not there for me right mm-hmm. so if i had to depend upon somebody to understand how this whole industry works there will be somebody who has been my boss who is there in the system and uh, he was from a, a different company there is from lic because there was only uh insurer mm-hmm. there till then Correct. so everybody had to depend upon his uh, ideology his Correct. experience mm-hmm. and to uh, you know learn from them mm-hmm. so first day was pure learning i was a i was as blank as anybody would be mm-hmm. but yeah the biggest thing that happened on the first day was i made friends mm-hmm. from various backgrounds Okay. and from various industries because mm-hmm. there, there was no insurance industry at all correct, correct. so whoever came into the system was either from fsg mm-hmm. or from a marketing firm or from selling credit cards or from being a banker mm-hmm. or from being a being working with a broker correct, or, correct. or from a uh, you know maybe a share trading company mm-hmm. so these were the people who were there and i was one of them okay so i got comfortable very soon that was a blessing in disguise because nice. that's the advantage of starting a getting into a you know brand new industry so okay. that worked for me okay and also for our target audience like you know uh, when we talk in terms of an insurance you go and sell those kind of intangible product which are there and can you share your first experience your first client which you have cracked and you felt oh my god after so struggle i got one client like that experience with a target audience sure so you always in your life always your first sale is something which you remember for life Mm-hmm. so my biggest uh, you know remembrance was uh, something which i did even before i joined the insurance industry because the place where i was working couple mm-hmm. of small jobs that i had taken was again selling very intangible products mm-hmm. i was selling a very difficult product on holidays and that time i had a pretty tough uh, boss mm-hmm. who was a hardcore sales guy but again a great teacher because i learned a lot from him mm-hmm. uh, he had just asked me to go Door to door and start selling, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and that job I had taken up, which was paying me even lower. So then I did my MBA. So that was again when my father was paralyzed at that time. So mm-hmm. I had to take care of certain situations at home, even though um, I, might, I didn't know what I had as assets. But, mm-hmm. So immediately after I finished my college, I started that work. Mm-hmm. So I was sent to. I have never gone out of my place of comfort. So I was sent to a very uh, sadie place in uh, Tarbeo. and i had a couple of colleagues who were like hardcore marketing people sales people you know who were good at door to door thing and i was very new mm-hmm. was 20 21 22 so i didn't know what to do so whatever people used to usually listen to they told me to go all through this building and ring bells and talk mm-hmm. to someone mm-hmm. and tell them that i'm selling a product which is a holiday leisure product mm-hmm. then i figured out that that time the product was costing around a lakh of rupees mm-hmm. in 1997 mm-hmm. This is like almost more than two crores, three crores. Now, if you look at time value of money, yeah, yeah. so I was surprised how I'm going to sell it to even speak that one lakh. Mm-hmm. You know, for me it was difficult, but I was able to speak because I just said that there's nothing to fail. Mm-hmm. Whenever I was, uh, that was the advantage that I had. I said that what can go wrong. Mm-hmm. So there was something where I uh, went through around two buildings and uh, knocked around two hundred odd doors. There was one doctor mm-hmm. who mistook me to be a medical representative. <laughs> so I went into his uh, cabin and he said, "Kya yeah, hai, Mr. Subramanian?" He said, "Yeah, okay. So what have you got for me?" So I kept my brochures there. He started looking for something with the medical fraternity there. I said, "Why have you come here?" I said, "Yeah, I've come here to give you, uh, you know, you're a doctor. You take care of everybody. Mm-hmm. You give them peace of mind. I have something to give you peace of mind. So would you like to have a look at it?" Mm-hmm. So he liked that uh, approach of mine. It was a mistaken identity, but it worked for me, and that was my first deal that cracked. Mm-hmm. So this peace of mind mm-hmm. was stuck in my mind, and I always believed that there are people who pay to have mm-hmm. peace of mind, uh-huh. and that somehow transcended, mm-hmm. and I could resonate to that mm-hmm. in the insurance industry. Oh, I see. So the peace of mind is something which we actually buy. Mm-hmm. when you take insurance mm-hmm. technically speaking mm-hmm. 
Correct. So, uh, the first meeting was I had gone with uh, a new distributor who was hardly 22 years old, and I told him, "Ki let's start this journey together. Mm-hmm. Let's go and meet one of your customers and try to figure out what you know what we can cater to him mm-hmm. rather than us figuring out what he wants." Mm-hmm. So we went and spoke to them, and he said, "Ki I am looking at it. I, you know, that time we had different challenges because." Mm. People didn't know that Birla Sun Life could be a part of insurance. Correct, correct. So then, when I told them there is a Birla Group with Sun Life Financials of Canada, mm. they merged in. The whole story had to be told to him. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, what are you here for? Was a question. Ki I'm saying that now you are at 45, sir, and I'm like 27, 28. Mm-hmm. When I get there, my most important thing would be to see that I have peace of mind. Mm-hmm. So for that, I'm ready to pay something. Would you be ready to pay something? Mm-hmm. So the client. Uh, Looked at it very differently because still today nobody had really portrayed an insurance product yeah. as a product purely designed to give you peace of mind. Mm-hmm. So that triggered his uh, positivity, and he said, "Brilliant way of understanding." And then I brought in my first deal. Yes. Secondly, I was in pressure to also uh, ensure that 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 the, the distributor is also positive. So it was a win-win for both of us, and it, I I I cherish that even today. Correct. I think the presence of a mind, like you know, whenever you sell this kind of intangible product, it takes a lot of skill sets which are required. It's an interesting insight. So what we are getting from Mr. Vinod Subramanian, who is the executive managing partner with Aditya Birla Capital, his journey, his story of his struggle, and now today we are sitting at the top of a pyramid with lot of glory and the recognitions. We will really catch up with him in our next episode of on a T Talk with Bol Swaraj. Till then, go to www. T Talk. Net. Subscribe and like the channel as much as you can. Do catch up with Mr. Vinod Subramanian in our next episode of T Talk. So, Thank thanks you. a lot for being part Thank of this episode. So Thank you very Thanks. much.